Uh, my name is Noman. I work in the field of internet travel and marketing. My question revolves around the strongest form of media today is movies. Movies originating from Hollywood, Bollywood, Lollywood, and probably now Dollywood in Dubai. <laughs> Fortunately, for their benefit, it gets the message across in many forms. Passion of the Christ was one form that related a story about Jesus Christ. It was the script was in Hebrew. I wanted to first ask how much of that was uh, um, in line with what Christianity preaches and how much we can relate to Quran as well. Obviously there's some deviations as well. But again the masses took that understanding and absorbed it and that's what their understanding is. So my second part to the question is how can we use the media in form of movies to effectively communicate the message of Islam like it was done in the form of the first movie called The Message from which I understood a lot of people converted to Islam after watching that movie. Jazakallah. Well, there was a question that movies do play an important role in creating opinions and conveying the message. Hollywood, Bollywood, now you have Dollywood. Dollywood, new word that comes from Dubai Media City. And you give the example of Passion of Christ. What are my views of such movies? Brother, I haven't seen that movie Passion of Christ, though I wanted to see it. I haven't seen that movie. Normally I don't see movies. But this being a particular movie, I wanted to see it. But I read reports that after this movie was made by Mel Gibson, the way he portrays and he kept it in the original language, there were a lot of criticism. And the way he created it, and which was slightly against the Jewish lobby. Because of that, there was a hue and cry. But it also became popular in the negative sense. When you speak something negative, it became a box office. So there it did break the records. He was walking on the edge of the sword. He invested so much money. If it went a flop, he would lose millions of dollars. It went a hit. And it had many things which were right. Many things would agree with the Islamic point of view. Many would not agree with the Islamic point of view. As far as the second question is concerned on message. And I've seen that movie, Message, made by Mustafa Akkad and Anthony Quinn was acting as Hamza. May Allah be pleased with him. The way the movies were made was excellent. I really appreciate it. One of the best movies on Islamic lines, I would say, is The Message. Alhamdulillah, without showing the hero, without showing Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, without showing his picture, without showing his voice, Alhamdulillah, the whole picture was revolving around the hero, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, without showing his picture, without his voice, once they show his camel and his staff, that's it. But the way the angle of the camera was, that to show that the Prophet did not like and he turned his face away, then the angle of the camera changes. So the direction was superb. It was a masterpiece. And we do require such more movies. But the budgets of these movies are big. It runs into millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. So the budget is there. But it did make a lot of money. Mustafa Khan. Then he made another film called as Umar Mukhtar talking about not 100% Islam but talking about a Muslim which also did create a box office and all we do require such movies but we see to it that whatever you create it should be aligned on Islam, Quran and Sharia there was something which I don't agree everything of message is right as a whole it was good there were things which were wrong also in the message movie, but as a whole it was good as a whole it was good what we have to do that we have to create online of the Islamic Sharia without breaking any laws of the Quran, the Sai Hadith and portray it in a way, same way not only movies, we have to make docudramas, we have to make serials, we have to make documentaries. Because in the media, it is a white elephant, white elephant. You know if you know about Kon Maninga Korpati, it was a copy of who wants to be a millionaire. On an average, they spend one million dollar, more than four crore rupees only on one episode. One episode only. 45 to 50 minutes in Bombay, where labor is cheap. Pramita Bachchan is expensive. <laughs> so the thing is there that the budget is there. Surely those people of philanthropists would like to sponsor such. They should sponsor such films and make such films so that we can convey the message. But I yet believe. The new movie that has been made, The Kingdom of Heaven, it was made by a very famous director and he portrayed incidents 
how the crusaders attack and they kill thousands of people and then Salahuddin the hero he comes and he showed us the hero there was a big hue and cry in the western media that how could he make such a film he's a Christian he only portrayed what was fact in history but it did not go down the throat of the westerners there was a big hue and cry but because the person was a very famous director Alhamdulillah did not do much damage but if a non-muslim makes such film the kingdom of heaven that film also I did not see but I read the reports that it did a marvelous job it conveyed the true picture to a great extent so such films should be encouraged hope that answers the question